505 right now. With the new year, new laws are now in effect here at home, and with it, a big move towards fentanyl overdose prevention. Chris Latronic joins us now live from the state capitol with more. Alohan, good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam and Christine. Happy New Year's, the second day of 2024. And yes, new laws are already in place. And one, to fight uh, the big battle against fentanyl-induced drug overdoses. So as I step out of the way, you can see we're at the state capitol just across the street. So we, uh, you might know that earlier last year, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved naloxone nasal spray, also known as Narcan, for over-the-counter and non-prescription use. So this has been helping out uh, heavily, but also, so uh, we're going to have a little bit more help this year with a Bill 28 that was passed. Now, this one uh, shows that as of yesterday, Honolulu County liquor licensed businesses will be required to maintain a certain amount of naloxone on their premises and have their managers and assistant managers trained in the proper administration of naloxone. So, yes, we know uh, fentanyl-induced uh, overdoses have been just really uh, hurting our society, taking away many of our beloved lives. Lives and just it just takes a little bit just around 500 micrograms is what it takes for it to be lethal in any case now a lot of the the cases have been uh, induced by a lot of people taking uh, drugs like cocaine that are actually laced with uh, the fentanyl in them as well as just other ways to do it so and a lot of the places have been during these party areas where alcohol is also part of the problem so uh, this is going to hopefully help out and this will be going towards uh, any kind of uh, included businesses which include class 2 licenses that is restaurant license class 5 which is a dispensary license class 9 which includes tour or cruise vessel licenses as well as class 11 class 14 and class 18 which includes cabaret license brew pub license as well as small craft producer pub licenses so as according to ems they've been dealing with at least one to two calls every day with, in, regarding fentanyl induced overdoses so we're hoping that this as well as many other ordinances will help to mitigate this problem fentanyl induced overdoses so we'll keep you updated as this new year starts these new ordinances get in place and hopefully less deaths due to fentanyl this is chris atronic reporting live working for hawaii right here across the state capitol sending things back to you